welcome back to another video wherever you are special greetings to you and don't forget if today is your first time please do me a favor by subscribing to the channel also don't forget to hit on the notification bell whenever we draw video you will be the first person to be notified and know what the video is all about in today's video we are going to be talking about the new laws about payment of goods and services with your credit card or with your visa card or your mastercard any card that you have that you can use to pay goods and services in italy and also we are going to be talking about the opportunity of learning the italian language i know a lot of you want to learn the italian language but you don't know or you don't know how you are going to go about that there is opportunity for you to learn the language i always say that if someone tells you that the italian language is not important the person is lying to you the person want to deceive you try to learn the language even if you don't want to try to learn it so far as you are, you are in the country try to learn the language and one day you are going to say the language is very helpful so far as you are living in the country now let's start from the payment of goods and services with our bankomat our visas our our mastercard and then our credit cards now if you are in italy and you want to buy something with your credit card either being it one euro or two euro any amount that you want to buy the the person that is selling that thing for you if the person is a is some is doing commercial or commerciante the person have to accept your card for you to pay what you are buying because sometimes you go to some place if you want to buy something with one euro some people will say they will not they, they don't use card you cannot pay with one euro you have to pay above seven euros about above 10 euros now italian government is saying if you did not accept one euro payment they are going to give you the multa you that you are owing the store they are going to give you multa for not accepting the card of someone who is paying one euro or two euro so now with any amount that you buy from someone you can use your card to do what to pay so if you are also selling and you don't receive if the government catches you the government can give you multa and you have to pay the multa because sometimes your wallet you may not have anything in your wallet maybe you reach at a joint where they are selling water or something like that you want to buy with your card you don't have any atm close to you but they will say because you are buying this water which is one euro or two euro they are not going to accept your card or they don't accept card so now if you want to buy anything in italy if you go and the person is having post the person have to accept your post to pay whatever you want to buy let's watch the video from tg3 when we are back we will give you the rest of the update so stay da oggi entrano in vigore le sanzioni lo sapevate sì 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 ne era già al corrente ma io è già da un po che ce l'ho quindi non, non mi sono preoccupata ecco lo trovo giusto assolutamente sì contro l'evasione fiscale onestamente no nel senso che va benissimo la tracciabilità, però questo vincolo così perentorio non lo trovo giusto. L'obbligo di avere il POS c'era già, ma da oggi scattano le sanzioni per negozianti, artigiani e professionisti che non accettano pagamenti con carte bancomat di credito o prepagate. Si tratta di una multa di 30 euro cui si aggiunge il 4% del valore della transazione rifiutata. Ci siamo adeguati, dicono i commercianti, che chiedono però agevolazioni sulle commissioni. Paghiamo intorno allo 0,81%, su qualche carta di credito siamo all'1,50-1,60%. Un negozio come questo le dico che ha pagato l'anno scorso 48 mila euro di commissioni. Se devo comprare un caffè a 91 euro e pagare con la carta e le vai anche 5-10 centesimi sopra, che è il guadagno poi effettivo di chi ha questi servizi, mi sembra esagerato. Le sanzioni entrano in vigore dopo anni dalle prime norme sul pagamento tramite dispositivi elettronici, previste esenzioni in caso di oggettiva impossibilità tecnica, come problemi di connessione e malfunzionamenti del dispositivo. I hope you have seen the video and that is the new law about the payment of goods and services in Italy with our bancomat, our credit cards and our visa cards. Now let's move on to the next story. If you want to learn the Italian language and you are living in Milan, there is an Italian learning language course for you. You can uh, register and you can start in September so that you can try to learn the language at least even io sono, io vado uh io voglio mangiare voglio andare in supermercato this kind of italian language if you hear them it can help you in the country but without hearing anything it is not the best way my advice for you try to learn the base ones 
I know it's difficult for a lot of people, not all of us that learning language, we get it easy, but the base ones, please try to learn them. So far as you are in the country, Italian government has given you documents, Italian government has given you place to stay, you are working, you are paying, you are paying taxes. What is, what is your problem now? Learn the language and you can do everything on your own. Now they say if you are, if this is from Refugees Info, they said if you are in Milan, and you want to learn or improve your Italian uh, Italian language association IBVA uh, offers Italian language courses for beginners to advanced starting in September so we still have uh, July August September they said lessons will take place in Via Santa Croce Quindici Milan uh, to enroll drop an email to secretaria at IBVA punto IT or you can call on this number 0249 52 uh, 4600 0249 52 46 uh, 00 or you can still learn more on the link uh, I'll be leaving the link in the YouTube video description a lot of us want to learn the language with but sometimes we don't get the opportunity or we don't know how we are going to go about it and learning the language is something that is going to help you in the country side so as i said before if you want to get more info about the about how to learn the italian language and some of the uh courses they even do it in the night some they even do it uh in the afternoon some they do it in the morning so however your work is you still have the opportunity to learn the language you understand so if you don't want to learn in that it means you don't want to learn but if you want to learn there is always a solution to any problem you understand uh, but for me telling you that learning the language, it is uh, for me what I have understand or my experience in learning the language. Because for me, if I said learning the language did not help me, then I am lying to you because it has helped me a lot. And if you also try to learn the language, it is going to help you the same thing. And this is the update I have for you today. If you don't understand anything, please you can let me know in the comment section below. Until we meet again in the next video, I saw remain official cracker fact news. Stay safe and stay blessed. Peace out.